Okay, uh, in this uh, last lesson, uh, we want to make some post-production in Photoshop. Mm, so, let's go copy this wire uh, on top of our first layer. Okay, um, and let's select color range, this white. Okay, let's turn off um, wire. Okay. Uh, let's add um, levels to this selection and make brightness just a little bit. All right. Okay. Let's make. Uh, let's move this uh, on top of it. Okay. Um, now let's add um, again levels. Okay, and let's um, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, and let's now grab erase tool and start erasing. All right. Okay, maybe from this tree, okay, here, from our small trees, all right, from our plants, okay, all right. And maybe from our sidewalk. All right. Okay, let's erase this. Okay. There we have it. Um, let's uh, now go ahead and add color balance. Okay. So let's try this out. Maybe less cyan and more blue. Okay, let's go to highlights. All right. So again, let's uh, take erase and erase this layer from uh, the trees and from stone, from sidewalk. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Let's um, now grab a dodge tool, clone uh, our uh, main layer, and let's brighten those leaves up. Okay, um, scratch around our lamp. Okay, maybe here and here around um, the other lamps. Um, I want here to be much, much brighter, so let's brighten this up. Okay. Yeah, let's let's try one more one more time. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Um. Now uh, let's just check this out. <laughs> okay, so let me just let's um select uh, color range one more time here. This white color. Okay. And now let's uh, go to select, modify, uh, modify, and expand by one pixel. All right. 
and now I'll add, add one more time this levels to it and let's bright this up yeah, okay okay so let's now um, add um, some uh, lens flare let me just make one more copy of this layer okay um, oops render and lens flare and just brightness and just add this lens flare um, to the other lamps Okay, and um, so um, let's add uh, mountains uh, um, behind our building. So let's just copy and paste this picture here. Um, let's hide those layers. Um, so let's grab hard, um, hard brush and try to erase um, the sky. Okay. So let me just uh, do this quickly. Okay. Actually. Okay, let's um, zoom here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's just um, erase this. Okay.
Okay. Okay, almost done. Okay. All right. Okay. So we want uh, this to be um, behind our building. So let's uh, go and use our um, wire uh, one more time. Select this um, red. Um, okay. And let's go and select inverse and hit delete. Okay. So as can you see, we just delete um, the sky from our render. Now we can place uh, the mountains. Okay. So let's just lower the opacity. Okay. Let's make a new copy. And lower opacity even more here. I want it to look that this is um, far, far away. Okay. Let's actually grab um, erase tool and erase the stop okay. same here okay uh, one more copy and place maybe here oh, okay that looks good. Okay. okay. So let's let's again grab erase. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's make bright um, our building a little bit more. Actually, this is the, the top layer. Okay. Okay. Let's add one more here saturation. Let's go to science. Let's lower the saturation of it. Um, blues. Okay. All right. So we are um, almost done here. Let's maybe bright this um, garage door. A little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's select um also this blue color here okay let's deselect here okay and let's add one more hue and saturation and lower the saturation of this all right okay great okay Okay, we actually 
I forget to add here um, lens flare. So let's just add this quickly. Okay. So let's compare this uh, image to our uh, raw render. Okay, so that what we got, and that what we add in Photoshop. Okay. Um, so actually, let's go ahead and maybe uh, add here. Okay, so now um, let's actually go back to these uh, levels and maybe uh, change this 14 to 9. Okay, and let's uh, create new adjusting layer, uh, hue and saturation, and let's um, uh, go to yellows, let's the saturation, blues. Okay, and maybe cyan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's now add um, brightness and contrast above uh, mountains and just lower the uh, brightness okay how um, much let's go and change this mountain here all right and lower the opacity just a little bit okay And maybe same here. Okay. Okay, so now um, I have this uh, brush strokes here and let's create the dirt. Okay. I think that uh, this walk site is a little bit um, too clean. Uh, so this helps us to add um, some more realism. Okay. So we need to adjust the perspective. Okay, let's delay it uh, maybe from here, start. Okay. Okay, and lower the opacity for this. Okay, let's uh, copy and paste this again. Now we are gonna add this um, dirt f uh, on our building. Okay, so again, multiply, lower the opacity. Okay. Okay, 
let's rotate this a little bit okay and start erasing Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay, and from Windows. Okay. And let's just this opacity adjust. Okay, maybe eleven. Okay. Um it looks good. Okay. And let's paste it one more time here. Uh I'm want to add this um dirt um here um, above the entrance okay so multiply uh, go to control T for enter um, the transform mode select perspective and adjust this perspective Okay. When it's done, hit enter. Okay, let's copy this piece and add this um, on the left of our doors. Okay.
Okay. So let's check this out. Mm, we have here um reflection of uh, light, so let's just add um small flares to it. Okay, and now um, we're done. Okay, so um, let me just show you how it looks um, before Photoshop. Okay, so this is the render. Okay, and this is what we did in Photoshop. Okay, much better. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that uh, it helps you with your own visualizations. And if you have any question, um, just um, go to DT forum and ask there. And I'll definitely check this out and try to help. Okay, so see ya.